Alright guys. Oh been another slight change. Managed to get a hold of a, a steering box. Which is much better. It's a lot neater. Oh crap, that had sitting in there before. It's too tight. So, my idea is. Something like this, but we drill it through and fit it in here, and in that way, these things can go here and move up and down. Then and it keeps all the arm movement on the outside as they are going down and coming in and out. So, and then it does away with my worries about distances and smacking underneath here with the arms but I had it before so I don't need to worry about my feet fitting there, no problem I don't whack the underside of here, there's plenty of clearance well when I say plenty it's probably about an inch which I reckon is enough there's not enough movement in this to to really cause any problems. I'm maybe worried about a good set of trainers maybe getting wrecked with it. <laughs> Aye. Anyway, so and we've got all the pedals done now. Brake lines are all run. And then we've got down this side. Calper's not, well, I've not made a bracket, mountain bracket for it yet, but that's where it's kind of going to go. And then there's the lines run around here. Now, I've got given, oh, there's a clutch you've done as well. I had these for, uh, for an RS Turbo that was restoring when I'd done away with the uh, the rear drums and fitted disc brakes on it and I was given these and these are like I don't know, they kind of reduce the pressure going to the rear the rear brakes and hopefully I'll, I'll just let all the front the front brakes do all the work but I've been thinking about putting in a uh, fitting a, a fly-off handbrake so I'd fit it on this side of this so I get the full pressure from it when I'm pulling it but I, in the meantime I'll just leave this as it is and it'll hopefully not put as much it'll not lock, lock up the back yeah. so there you guys well, that's it for this update. I'll see you soon now.